So I'm going to go over how to create a face in a character creator. So it helps to have, well, it's actually really essential to have like a lot of good reference photos from the front and from the side. So, so here's a character that I made, um, some footballer from Sweden. And uh, so as you can see, it's, it's pretty close. The hair sucks because uh, it's some hair pack that I bought off the marketplace. But uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, hair is something that's kind of uh, not so not so good in character creator unless you, you find a pretty good pack. But, uh, but unfortunately for, for this character, I couldn't find anything uh, rem that resembles this so well. But uh, first of all, let's, uh, let's create a new project. And let's start with another face. Uh, I've got another face here. So this is another athlete, uh, hockey player. Uh, so, so when you start the character creator, uh, actually, first of all, let's talk about what you need to uh, to uh, to have uh, in order to to do this properly. You're going to need some plugins. Uh, so. Aside from the basic character creator three, you're gonna want to download, or you're gonna want to purchase the following plugins. Uh, I recommend these ones. Let's see. Oh, okay, so yeah, if you navigate to the software store, oh god, their store is so fucking convoluted. But if you manage to get to this page, um, you want to purchase this plugin here, uh, this bundle here. It's a four-in-one bundle, so it comes with four different plugins, which I use quite extensively. Uh, skin gen premium, realistic human skin, ultimate morphs, makeup, and SFX. Yeah, yeah. So these ones are really useful. Um, so yeah, this bundle is really important, and this one right here, headshot plugin. This is almost in essential for for doing faces. And uh, so these two, and then there's another product you need to buy that, that that'll really save you a lot of time. Uh, this is really great. Uh, it's called a uh, the hair and beard builder. So it. it uh, as you can see in the previous model that I had, his hair was quite shitty. It's because it came from a pack that was made in like uh, like 2010 or something. It was really shitty hair. But this this uh, this new one uh, called the Hair and Beard Builder comes with much more realistic looking hair, and um, uh, it's it's much better for making beards as well. So uh, I recommend getting this one. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a lot of different hairstyles. Uh, it's mostly just for females, but uh, for male hairstyles, there's I, I think there was only like two or three. It's, but uh, but it's really essential for for the facial uh, facial hairs, for the beards and the mustaches. Um, and another pack you'll need is the uh, realistic human skin. Uh, yeah, this one's really useful for uh, like just really making the the the, uh, the skin look much more. Uh, realistic and more up-to-date up to 2021 standards because if you see this character that that this is kind of like your default character I, I, this is like something that you know it's like probably good enough for like something from 20 2010 or some shit but uh, but these uh, these new uh, skin textures that come with the realistic human skin will really uh, bring it up to modern standards so so first of all, once you've gotten all these plugins, um, you can just start making your character. So, so the first step you want to do is you go to your projects, and then you want to go to your avatar, your base. Uh, I like to start with this guy, the the the, uh, the male avatar from the game base. Oh, just to just to reiterate that uh, this character is going to be eventually going to be used in a game. So, uh, so I, that's why I like to start with something more low poly. There's other characters such as this guy, but um, yeah. Uh, eventually, w once we add some, uh, once we add the different skin textures, it's gonna eventually look like this anyway. So, so yeah, let's just start with this guy. All right, so it's gonna come up like that. So your next step you wanna do is you wanna plug in your uh, face texture. So. As I said, you, you want to have a good front face shot. So uh, something like this is perfect because it's just straight up face shot. And uh, it's also important to get the lighting pretty uh, neutral. So uh, this is OK. It's not too bright, not too dark. So once that's done, what I like to do is I like to actually bring it into Photoshop. 
and I like to draw contour lines just around where, uh, basically, where I think his, uh, you know, where, where, where the, um, you know, the major outlines of his face are. So here's the cheekbones and the, the jawline and the mouth and the eyes. Yeah. So once that's done, uh, you can use this as a, as a much better reference for headshot. And I'm also going to just bring the brightness down because I, I think I, uh, this, this lighting here is, it looks like there's a spotlight that's kind of been flashed on its face. So, so I think to bring it more to like kind of an ambient lighting, I think this looks better. I think so. And then probably just tone down the saturation. Yeah, this looks more realistic. So this is like the kind of lighting that you would see when he's just kind of outside on a cloudy day. All right, so let's just save this. So basically now I've got like uh, two two photos, uh, one of the original and the one of the outline. So you just drag this one into the headshot. And then, yeah, pick your, uh, he's a male. So, um, and the skin type, this is actually not super important because we're gonna be adding some shaders or some, uh, some uh, layers later on. So. I just start with clean soft and just generate it. And then it's going to take uh, about a minute for it to uh, process, depending on your computer. This is like a Ryzen 5950, so uh, it's pretty quick, uh, relatively speaking. But uh, um, So yeah, while it's doing this, uh, I'll just talk to you about the other reference photos you want to have. Like, as I said, you want to have one from the front and also one from the side. This is really important when, because uh, it just allows you to uh, see what he looks like from side, obviously. So, uh, yeah, something. This is pretty good, actually. This is probably cleaner, but this is a more perfect one because it's just perfectly from the side. This one is like, um, it, it actually this one's pretty good. Like if I just modify it, like if I just take it and just rotate it. And now, just kind of make it look like that. Yeah, actually, that's pretty good. It's, it's resolution's much better, so. We can just save that, and we'll just use this for reference later. All right, so oh, still doing this. Okay. Yes, uh, this can be a bit slow. Part. Um, um, so let's talk about some other things you need might need it by. But uh, yeah, if you go to the the store, if there's a marketplace here, fuck, they're they're so bad. Okay, so there's like software store, content store, and then marketplace. I think the content store is like some uh, plugins that they real Reillusion um, kind of uh, uh, verified, and the marketplace is more shitty stuff that stuff you see from like like uh, just p people putting up their, their wares and it, it, the qu the content of this is not as good as the, uh, the 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 second store which was called the content store. But but yeah, there's some stuff in here that you might find useful. I I, I remember there was a hair packet that I that I use in a lot of, in my models. Uh, yeah, this guy, he makes some pretty decent hair. Oh, actually, it's made by Realision. Um, yeah, these ones aren't pretty useful. I've bought these. Yeah, so... Uh, they're not bad. So anyways, once that's done, uh, you'll, you'll have something like this. Now, the next step I like to do is... Um, so... I like to turn the mask off. Or, uh, so I, I like to set the mask off. So basically what it's doing is it's taking the image and it's basically projecting the texture onto his face, which is ultimately it's not what you want because you don't want to have green lines in your character's face um, unless you're making some kind of alien. But uh, So to tur turn off that, uh, that texture masking, uh, that, that, uh, that texture being projected on the, 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 the character's face, you want to go to the blend mask, click on this, and then click on this part, and then just bring the brightness down to black. So now it's basically not going to apply any of the the image, the photo image, onto the, the 3D model. And then we're just going to update. All right, so now what you're left with is just like the bare model um, without any of that image projected onto his face. So this is kind of like a really goofy looking face and um, without any features. But uh, but eventually we're going to be adding some brows and all that kind of shit. So, but this is what you, what you want to start with basically. But So this headshot plugin, what it, did, what it did was it actually took this image and it actually kind of through some like some AI, it actually um, 
uh, did a pretty good job of, of setting the features, like the, like the positioning of the nose and the lips and the ears. It, it uses this, uh, this photo to set where these uh, things are, are uh, positioned. And, uh, but but you want to refine it a bit because it's not perfect, as, as you'll see later. So uh, second step, I like to just set the eyes to what it... What it oh, God, that's too... too. Um, yeah, let's specify the color more. A little bit darker, I guess. You know, a little bit lighter. A bit more saturation. No, less less saturation. Yes, and then ah, that looks pretty good. All right. So next step is to scroll all the way up to here and then click on uh, activate sculpt morph. This is where we're gonna actually morph uh, the the 3D face so it fits the photo a little bit better. Now you want to set the lens to a pretty. So what you want to do is you want to set that that lens. Uh, basically, the lens refers to the. Uh, I think it's like the FOV or something. Yeah. So this is the FOV of. Uh, let's just turn that thing off. This is the FOV of your 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 in game or your 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 real illusion camera. So notice as I uh, as I change the FOV, the uh, his face kind of morphs. So what you want to actually want to do is you want to match this FOV to what this FOV was when this photo was taken, which we have no idea is. But, but I mean, in general, I think these kind of photos that I use, that I, that I find on the internet, I think an FOV is of like 20, 30, I think is okay. I mean, yeah, you just have to kind of like, this is a bit of guesswork, but I think most, most cameras, they're using an FOV of 30. Or maybe it's... 35 but yeah I find 35 looks all right but you know this is something that will affect the this 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 is pretty important to get this right because if you if you started the wrong alpha V your face will look too fat like in the end so let I mean 30 is a kind of a good starting point so once you set that to 30 uh, you want to turn the opacity down a little bit so notice as I turn it up you'll see the photo in uh, better because this photo is basically just a reference so it allows me to uh, sculpt the the bo like the, the 3d part to the um, the photo a little bit better so since I drew those green lines it really it's not super necessary to have the photo opacity too high I can still see it from here so so set it to like something a little bit low now you can actually modify the 3d uh, the 3d face so you start from this first one the contours and then just actually the first thing I want to start from is the middle because this kind of defines like how wide you can sort of set how wide his face is going to be, or how tall it's going to be, and how how wide it's going to be. So just set it so it kind of matches the green lines. Uh, that looks about pretty good. And then this one you can fine tune it a little bit. Now I'm moving my mouse up and down. That adjusts the height. Now if you move it left and right, you can adjust the width of his jawline. So I'm going to move it there and then just kind of go there. Now we can kind of bring this one out a little bit. And then this one, shrink it in a little bit more. And then this one, actually, yeah, his skull's probably about there. The rest of it is just really bushy here. Okay, then next step, you want to go to the face one. So notice I'm going starting from left and then moving all the way to the right. So this one, since the first part kind of matched it pretty well, you don't really need to fine tune it too much here. It's, uh, it lines up pretty well. But yeah, it gets more fine tuning as you move from left to right. Now also make sure you, the symmetry goes on. It, it just makes it easier for now. I mean, later we can turn it off if, if he has like features that are not symmetrical. But for the most part, this guy looks fairly uh, symmetrical. Now the ears part is something that you probably don't, you're not probably going to be able to match it exactly from, from the photo because the photo, generally, the perspective of it, the ears are kind of, uh, it's not going to be accurate. So just get something that kind of, I mean, just match the height. I think that that's good. But the depth of the ear, it's probably not going to be this. Uh, it's probably not good to use the photo as a reference because it tends to get kind of warped uh, back there. Um, now let's position the eyes. 
Now you can move it up and down or left and right. Most most of these uh, most of these controls you can go up and down or left or right. So so notice the mouth here, and then actually if you go left or right for the mouth, it'll just shrink the width. It doesn't actually move the mouth left or right. You can do that later uh, using the modify panel. Um, yeah. So position the nose. I like to get the nose about right there, and then we can fine tune the nose a uh, more because there's a uh, there's more controls for the nose later on. But this is more of a generalized um, sh uh, just outline of the nose. That's much better. And as for the brow line, so you can sort of see the shade on his brow line. You kind of want to match what that green line did. Uh, the, like, so these controls, they, they don't allow you to change the angle at the moment. But later on, uh, uh, I'm going to use some uh, some morphs that will allow you to do that. Yeah. So, yeah, let's just move his eyelids in so we can kind of position his eyes a little bit better. So you notice that those green lines that I drew in Photoshop really help because it just allows me to just kind of see how they align better. Okay, now there's a bit of asymmetry in in his left eye here. Um, that could be from because the photo is a little bit uh, off, because maybe when they took the photo, it wasn't like he his head wasn't perfectly 90 degrees. So you know you can kind of kind of take that into account or you know it could be the fact that his his eyes are just asymmetrical and so basically to to, to change it uh, independently you have to turn off the symmetry and now you can change his left eye and his right eye will will stay the same yeah because uh, you have to realize and there's something that you want to realize like most humans actually they don't really have uh, perfectly symmetrical features like a lot of people have eyes that are a little bit um, a little bit off. All right. So in the next mor morphers, we're gonna go more deeper into the eyes because th this this uh, has more controls, allows you to change the shape of the lids a bit better. So kind of match the height there, match this height, the tear duct, and this one. Okay, that's pretty good. Now for the eyelashes, uh, you're not going to be able to get much from the reference photo because the reference photo, typically eyelashes are so hard to pick up from a photo. So, uh, oh, Okay, now we can actually move this brow down a little bit. So his brow line kind of comes into there. Oh shit, I forgot to turn on symmetry. Uh, anyways, whatever. We'll just modify the right again. Okay, all right, so that's that's done. Or as close as we can get it with these morphers. Uh, we're gonna be going even deeper later on as I as I as I start to uh, adjust, because uh, these are just basically the um, the high level uh, morphers. Later on, um, there's actually much more low level morphers that allows you to really fine tune the shape of the features. But uh, so now we're moving on to the nose. So generally, his nose is pretty thin. Oops. Okay, this allows you to adjust the height of his nostrils. That's pretty useful. Actually, I'm going to turn on symmetry here. Okay, oops, too big. Now, if you want, it helps to go back to the original. Just this, it helps. So, so his. Yeah, so his uh, the nose tip is not super thin, but it's about that. 
thin. And this one. Now we're going to go in later to adjust the shape so it's a bit more uh, accurate because right now it's not super close to that. But okay, that's good for now. Now let's go to the mouth. We're just trying to get it as close as we can using these uh, modifiers because, um, as I said later on, we're going to be we're going to have uh, access to much more um, precise modifiers. Because the the plugin that we purchased earlier, it's something called uh, oh this one, yeah, yeah. Because one of these plugins gives you like up to like a thousand modifiers. This one, it's called Ultimate Morphs. This one like has like so many modifiers that allows you to really fine tune the the shape of the face and all that. So, anyways, I'll show you that later. But for now, let's just finish using these high level modifiers. These high-level modifiers are actually pretty good because they get you pretty close to the, the the reference photo. All right. Okay. So that's fine for now. And then the, the ears, as I said, ears are really hard to match the reference photo because of the way the fact that the ears they kind of they lie further back and uh, the camera is not really picking up the actual shape of the ears because uh, because of FOV. All right, so that's pretty good, close enough. Uh, after that is done, we're gonna turn off the matching features. I'll turn off this ultimate sculpt morph. And then, actually no, uh, we're gonna leave this one on, activate image matching, because we still wanna see the, uh, the photo as a reference. And now we're gonna actually use something called, uh, I'm just gonna shrink this a bit. This is where we're gonna go into more fine tuning where we go to the modify panel and then um, actually we can turn off this morph gizmo because we don't, we don't need to use the, the morph gizmo up there we're going to be using this modifier you want to go to mo uh, this one right here morphs so now you can see that there's way more um, there's a ton of morphs actually uh, a lot of morphs. so uh, we want to go into the one called headshot so this one has like like several hundred different morphs for the the head so let's go to the top one called the head in general let's see if we need to do anything to this but actually for the I find uh, you don't need to touch this one the skull or the head right now because it's it's pretty close to matching like what I usually end up touching is the um, The brow, yeah, the brow. So, so now we're gonna we're gonna use these mo these little these morphers to actually match the brow a little bit closer because uh, you'll notice his brow it, it's kind of uh, it should go down a little bit whereas in, in, on our 3D model it's kind of going up. So what you want to do to make it go down on the outside, uh, you want to go for brow outer outer uh, brow angle. Um, no, it's, okay. Let, there's there, there's a there's a modifier that will bring down the the outer brow. Mm. Curve, is it? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so actually, I think it's the angle. So basically, it's the angle. So you got to bring the angle down a little bit. So you notice 100, it doesn't go far enough. So let's see if we can bring it down a little bit more. So th this one uh, affects both brows, and then this one affects the individual, like L and R. So, yeah, that looks about right. That looks about what what his uh, brow is currently doing. No, actually, the the right one is a bit higher up, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, m m most people have symmetrical skulls. I mean, so typically this. These shouldn't be different, so I mean, let's let's try to keep that pretty close to the same. I mean, I think the reason that it looks a little bit off here is because uh, the photo, his he might have tilted his head a bit when he took the photo. Okay, so the brow's done. Um, that's about all you can do for now. The next step is the eyes. Let's let's try to refine these a little bit more. Now, if you go to the eyes, there's more sub headings here. So, go to general and let's see if there's any of these that you might want to touch. 
No, the height's good. Height, height's really good. Uh, width, width is good. Outer width is good. Angle, mm, no, that's uh, pretty close. Inner angle, outer angle. Okay, so the outer angle, yeah, for this. The, oh, sorry, actually, uh, his eyes are a bit asymmetrical, so let, let's just modify this uh, differently for each eye. Okay, so his. I'm, I'm modifying the left one now. So the left one should come up there a little bit, and the right one should be like that. And now for tightness, tightness basically just is, you'll see what it does. So it kind of brings it in like that. So his seems to be actually, I guess, hmm, let's, I don't want to bring it too tight because then you'll lose that tear duct curve. There's a bit of a curve there because you, you want to have that curve, or at least I want to have that curve. Now the outer tightness. Okay, now we can adjust the height. Oh no, that's the, that's the height of the tear duct. Okay, that's the height of the outer curve. Tear duct in. Okay, that's pretty good. So that's pretty damn close to the photo. So I, I wish I can bring that one down. I mean, there is a controller up there, but you just have to scroll through and find them. I mean, as I said, there's like tons of controllers, and you kind of, kind of, it's, it's easy to get lost. Now these ones, the eye depth, you don't want to touch these right now because these these ones you want to touch later when you when you're looking at him from the side because. Adjusting these from from the from the front, you, you can't really tell what's going on. So I I, I don't touch these for for now. We'll touch them later it, when we start to get to the the side profile. So the next uh, subcategory is the opening. Um, again, because we we did so well on the the first category, we don't really need to tweak the opening too much because the opening kind of just adjusts how like how 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 open his eyelids are. Maybe now I can get his. So I want to bring this this curve down a little bit. But I don't see. No. Okay. All right. That, I I guess that's close enough. All right. So the eyelid. What's this one? Oh. Okay. So the eyelid is. I don't know why they call this. And I I guess you call that the eyelid. But this kind of defines the upper upper eyelid part. And so I want to match that red line that I drew for this for the eyelids. So. I need to find that part where just the angle. There's a part. Oh, what the fuck? Now I'm touching these parts now. Shit, there's so many controllers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can go crazy. You can spend hours touching all of these up but but for the most part I think this is pretty pretty damn close to what it looks like in the photo um, yeah and as I said these these depth ones you don't want to touch these when you're looking at him from the front because it's not you're not going to be able to see how it's changing uh, crease angle okay oh this is the one where I, where I want to watch so the crease angle is basically the one that I'm going to be using to match the red line above him so um, they call this the double fold Okay, so this looks pretty good. Okay. Bring that one down a little bit. Okay. And again, the, anything that says depth, you want to ignore that for now. Now the fold, the upper fold, let's see what that's doing again. Uh, okay, so this kind of brings down how droopy his uh, upper eyelids are. So so in this particular image, he's not that droopy, he's pretty young. So that looks fine. Tear duct, um, again, 
this okay so the tear duct is this area right here um, but I think we did such a good job on the previous modifiers we don't really need to change these too much yeah I, I don't really touch this area that much actually uh, eye socket eye socket what's the eyes oh oh this is kind of like the outer part of the eye like the eye socket is basically this whole area outside so notice as I adjust it like his, his it's it's basically adjusting his bones yeah so yeah for the most part I don't really touch the, this the eye socket too much okay the eyeball this basically changed you can change the scale of his eyeball now to match what the photo has I like to just adjust the opacity to see what the, how big his photos are now if you look at the photo his eyes are a bit wide like a bit further apart his eyeballs are, are further apart so what we need to do is we need to move his eyeball uh, width we need to adjust that so it's like try to match that okay it's a bit too far he looks crazy maybe there uh yeah and you notice his his right eye is really far compared to his left eye actually but i don't know i don't want to get too asymmetrical with his eyeballs Ge in general uh, in, i want to keep uh, you don't want to get you don't want to have the uh, eyeballs too like different because it just looks like he's like a zombie um so just try to get it like cl somewhat close but you know, you're never going to be able to get it exactly. Because I think it's part of it is just the photo. You know, sometimes when he takes the photo, he, he was like blinking or looking in a different direction. So, uh, but because uh, we don't want to capture him in in a in a bad pose, we we want to just make it look semi semi normal. Okay, that, I think that's about good. Yeah, so the, yeah, it's not going to be perfectly. I'm not going to try to get it too perfectly aligned because I don't know. It just looks crazy if it gets too far apart. Like, that just looks crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to keep it like this because it's it looks pretty normal. Uh, second part okay so the last one called type actually you know to be honest I probably could should have adjusted this one f first because this kind of gives you an, a, a way of uh, adjusting the overall shape of it so if you set to almond it, it kind of makes it more like an almond shape and like you can make it Asian that's kind of racist but what <laughs> anyways um, yeah so this is more of a has more generalized uh, tools that Kind of uh, adjust more than uh, more than one modifier because when we when we were doing this we're just adjusting like each modifier it, like separately and it, it tends to be a bit slow that way but this one when you do this one it it kind of adjusts like several modifiers at, at once so so I, sometimes it's quicker to just to jump to the last one and type and then use these settings to try to match your your photo and then uh, once you're done adjusting it here then you can go into these ones for more, more for more fine tuning. But for now, I think I'm happy with the way the eyes are. Um, I'm going to skip the ears because, as I said, ears are just something really hard to uh, get uh, matching with the photo. Um, cheek, for now, like, yeah, let's we can try to modify the cheek. Uh, generally, you want to just be modifying the, the height. It's, it's good that we drew these contour lines because it helps us to modify the cheek height and, and whatnot. Yeah, general just these the general uh, the cheek general and the cheekbone are the ones that I tend to use the most now as for the width he tends to have pretty high wide cheekbones and the depth yeah that's fine yeah in general cheek is something that's uh, better modified when you look at him from the side or from from a, from an angle like a three-quarters angle it's it's hard to adjust cheeks from the front face all right, so let's do the nose now. Let's. This is where we can really fine tune the uh, the general shape of the nose. So I'm really happy with the ridge. Uh, it looks pretty close to what he, uh, the photo comes up. Uh, the tip is something that I'm not too happy with. Now I want to modify. Okay, this is the this is the this is the the tip, I guess. Uh, I, I think that was fine before. Um, 
scale height. Uh, okay, this part, this part is something you want to touch from looking at the side because it's hard to really do it from here. But what I really want to touch is the uh, the nostrils. Yeah. So the the width of the nostrils is a little bit off here. Let's let's just see the heights. Yeah. Okay. So that looks better. Now the width. Yeah. His nostrils are quite thin. So let's bring him in a bit. And I want to adjust the opening. See the part where it gets open here. I think that's somewhere down, down, down further down. Nostril opening. Here it is. Oh, sorry, no. Let's nostril expand. No, I don't want to touch that. Upper crease. Um. Oh, yeah, that. I think that's better. Define. Yeah. Let's. Okay, this one, the depth, yeah, again, anything that says depth, uh, you don't want to touch it for now. I'm looking for the nostril hole. Oh, here it is, the nostril hole. Okay, so this is where uh, you can get the hole to, to more uh, match the photo. That's pretty much all we can do. Oh, height. No, that's fine. Front height. Oh, here, front height. Yeah, this is come up a little bit there and a little bit there. And then I want to go back to the tip. Uh, I want to widen the tip a little bit at the base, I think. Width, lower width, I think it is. Yeah, lower width. Centered. All right, I think you know that's good enough. That's probably as close as we can get it using these modifiers. Uh, next one is the mouth. All right, so the mouth in general. Mm, the general part, like this part, you don't really need to touch because we, we already did it with the, the very first uh, high level modifiers. Um, but you, for stuff like the corner, this is where you, you want to use these little uh, precise modifiers. So he tends to have kind of an upturn there. And again, anything with depth, just ignore it for now. Now the crease, what's this one? Uh, okay, so that's kind of like that crease there. It's hard to tell from the photo with the crease, so let's see if we can get it better. Yeah, I don't know. Again, it's it's really hard to tell. I think it looks like that, but uh, okay. Now let's move on to the lips. The scale looks looks pretty good. The height there looks good. Uh, like, I think for Caucasian people, you want to have this defined a little bit better. Like, you want to jack up the the, the definition. They, I think they tend to have more stronger definition the definition is basically that line there if you tone down the definition it, it, it looks more uh, kind of rounded but that looks all right bring that down a little bit curve yeah it's a little bit curved there isn't it yeah geez you can get really really in depth all right so yeah again depth and and fill is, is something that you, you want to touch uh when you're looking at them from the side so uh the seam the, the lip seam is basically that line that kind of separates the upper and the top lip so does he have a curve not too much actually yeah i mean it's i think that's pretty close to be honest so that's done. Uh, yeah, don't don't really need to touch the. Oh, sorry, we're gonna go to the chin. So the chin from from the front, it looks perfect. There's nothing really we want to change for the chin. So I think we're done with these small modifiers. Now I'd like to save this actually. Um, I should probably save this.
All right, so now that that's done, actually, we can just uh, we can go ahead and turn off the matching tools, and we're going to be modifying from the side. Now, to do this uh, effectively, you, you want to have a picture, again, of the side. Now, basically, you want to, I'm using this, a, a program called Fastnet, but if you, if you, um, let's, let's edit this picture. Let's crop it so it's more just, just his face. Actually, and we want to make it square. This is really important for 412. And save that. Now, with the square side profile, we're going to right click. Hold, oh, okay, so you right click, hold down the right click, and then drag it into uh, there. Now, you want to bring it in as a, I think, plane. Let me try the plane. Ah, yeah, plane. Oh, wait a minute. Shit. I cannot adjust it. No, that, that's no good. Uh, I think it was the image layer thing. Now, drag it in. in image layer yeah okay so this is what you want so basically it's just kind of like a, a reference fo photo that we can use so you want to just bring it in here and then hold down the shift key and this will uh, drag it like so it's more of a square all right so now you want to adjust the opacity um, strength okay yeah so if you go to here oh shit no is there opacity uh, yeah, here it is. So yeah, when you go to the modify panel and you go to material, you can adjust the opacity of this material. So it looks like that. So we're just gonna try to mod. We're just gonna scale it so it kind of fits. Uh, so you want to get the chin and and kind of like uh, the. Yeah, don't zoom in and out because that's uh, that kind of fuck up the sc uh, the scale. So you want to match the chin and basically his lips and his eyes. So. Again, just, we're, we're, it's not going to be exact because I think this photo was, when I rotated it, I didn't rotate it exactly, exactly 90 degrees. So. Huh. Maybe I should r adjust it more so it's 90 degrees. Okay. Uh, oh, where did I go? Now, if you if you want to select it again, you gotta go to scene and then go to uh, image layer. Okay. Now you want to select again, and then you you might want to reload it again. Did it? Uh, let me see. Is there a refresh? Because I mean, I modified it in Photoshop. I, I don't think it refreshed it. <coughs> Maybe I need to drag it back in. Here. Ah, okay, there. Okay, so that's oh, okay, that's a little bit better. That's that's more. So his chin height and his eye height seems to be pretty good. All right, cool. That's good. So let's just state there, and now let, we can modify his face. Uh, cl click back on the CC3 bus, or you can just double click on his, his face and go back to morph. Oh, sorry, turn off morph. Uh, go back to up here, go back to this morph. So now we can go to the. So, yeah, for let's let's adjust the forehead depth. Alright, so this comes out like a little bit like that. Angle. Oh. It's kind of oh shit. Mm. Is that what it looks like? No, it's yeah. It's because the 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 angle of this portrait is not 100%. Yeah, it's actually his forehead is actually quite straight up. So uh, the angle should be quite straight like that. Yeah. Yeah, this reference photo is not a good uh, good reference for that because uh, it's not one. It's not 100% 90 degrees taken on from the side. Like this is probably a better photo. I probably should have taken use this instead. Um, but anyways, let's just go with this. 
Uh, you can also, uh, another thing you can do is you can click on the morph here and go back to headshot and click on active sculpt morph. And then you can actually adjust it from here as well, these, using these high level adjusters. This is actually quite a quicker. Oh shit! Yeah, don't zoom in and out because uh, the the image, uh, the reference image, doesn't zoom in with you. So be careful about that. You're gonna have to work at the same zoom level that you you when you created the reference image or the image pane, as they say. Uh, Here's where you can actually get, get a better idea of how the shape of his ear. Yeah, he has a very strong square jawline, so let's kind of get that matching. So his eye socket is fairly deep. <clears throat> so I think not really much we can change for, for, for the eye socket. It looks pretty close. <clears throat> the nose, let's see if we can adjust something more. So it's more like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. Oh shit, his ears are quite big actually. Maybe I need to go back here and adjust the size of his ears. Oh shit. Go back to here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Close enough. All right, so that's pretty good. Matched that pretty well. Um, now we can go back to the image plane. Uh, <coughs> take a closer look. Yeah, good enough. Let's just delete it. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so that is that and uh, now let's start adding some eyebrows and some hair so he doesn't look like a alien um i'm gonna save this a little bit yeah so that's pretty much all the modifiers that you want to be touching oh yeah uh, it helps if you have another modifier okay so you can sort of see his 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 jawline or his cheekbone here is it's kind of it's quite quite wide isn't it I think we captured it quite well, actually, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty good. Now let's some uh, let's add some uh, f some eyebrows and some shit like that. Okay, for to add the eyebrows, you gotta click on content and you gotta find it under makeup. Actually, oddly enough, it's under makeup. <coughs> so under makeup, you'll see that there's a category here called eyebrows, and uh, so there's a bunch of them here. Um, if you go to mail, you'll see a bunch. So let's take a look at what his eyebrows kind of look like. Um, they're like, kind of like that. Actually, unfortunately, we can't use the headshot matching tools right now. Actually, can we? Oh, actually, yeah, we can. We can turn on the matching tools, and then we can sort of use that. And then we can try to find uh, something that looks similar to what he has. This looks all right. Uh, yeah, just click yes to that. Okay, 
so it turned off our headshot matching tool because when you add an eyebrow it actually creates this um, goes into this modify panel and now this is where you have to uh, or this is where you're able to um, kind of add, uh, modify the eyebrow uh, shape so basically the eyebrow is just kind of like a texture that's been painted on onto his face and now using this modify panel you're uh, you're able to uh, change the color and, and the shape of the eyebrows even further so yeah it's unfortunate we don't have our image paint but uh, sometimes i just go back and forth and just look at it like that and try to get something that matches so his eyebrows kind of curve like that this curve is weird it's uh it's too down but we'll adjust that later so to adjust that curve i think one thing you can do is you can go down to here under the transform uh offset mm, yeah this 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 might adjust the curve a little bit and the the distortion also helps as well maybe or maybe not no no okay so yeah so it seems like there's this weird curve that goes like that which is not what i want his curve just goes straight and then goes down so to fix that uh sometimes i mean what i want to do is you want to go into photoshop and just kind of edit it so I want to I want to bring this up a little bit. So to do that, right click on this part and go launch texture. Now, if you don't have uh, Skin Gem Premium, you won't have this uh, ability to launch texture, unfortunately. So make sure that you've you've purchased uh, the Skin Gem Premium. So, but anyways, you should have purchased it when I when I when I recommended it back here. Yeah, Skin Gem Premium. So right click on it, launch texture. It'll it'll open up in Photoshop uh, you don't need to use that one so as I said I want to bring the middle up a little bit like that so around this area right here I want to shift that up a little bit so uh, best way to do that is to use a liquify uh, edit where's liquify here it is liquify shift control X now you want to use this brush here the, the warp brush and then you want to just adjust it so it's like so now we're going to bring this up a little bit and let's press enter and then control s to save it and it should automatically update in there okay so that's getting a little bit better uh, it's, so here's a straight and then kind of down angle straight and down angle so we need to remove some of that because it's a bit too long actually it's going down a bit too much here's it's going so let's 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 adjust that a little bit so it doesn't go down too much uh let's go back to more modify here now let's bring this up a little bit using liquify let's see what that looks like in here all right uh yeah that's better and now it's uh so it kind of goes there and it goes down and it kind of ends about right there his is ending a bit too far too far past so so what you can do another way you can do to make his eyebrows uh less wide is to just go into um the scale yeah pattern scale so now you want to just adjust the x pattern scale so it's uh not so wide now you need to do this to this one as well to this x and now we need to bring it a little bit closer to his nose so to bring it closer you want to use the mirror and then there I think that looks much closer yeah. now his eyebrows come down a bit more so we want to bring the uh, the Y down a little bit there and then uh, let's rotate it a little bit so it's more straight out yeah that's, that's that's a bit closer yeah that's uh it's a bit better it's a bit better okay all right yeah that's not bad not bad yeah the eyebrows are kind of the hardest part it requires the most work actually if you notice here it looks kind of weird actually typically eyebrows don't lie they lie on the, the the brow line so i think what we should do is we should bring it up a bit 
so it's more on the on the on the brow line see so this is the brow line right here that line that 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 bone here kind of like protruding and typically the eyebrows are on that brow line you don't want to bring it too low because eyebrows don't go like that right the what you want to do is you want to bring it up to the brow line and then you want to adjust the brow line so it's lower so to do that just go back into the, the modify panel and go to brow and then you want to just adjust the brow height yeah, so it's lower and maybe the angle a little bit That's a little bit better. Okay, uh, close enough, I guess. Um, I'll, I'll call it. I'll call it good. Now to adjust the color. So he he's, it's on in his picture. He's kind of dark, but he's he's blonde. Though, but yeah, he's kind of dark brunette blonde. But let's bring this color more, more blondish. So to do that, you want to just adjust the saturation. Well, first adjust the saturation so we can see what the hue is right now the hue is set to a kind of a red one so we want to set it kind of like a yellow between yellow and, and red so i would say orange and then turn on the turn it down a little bit like, like that i think that's more kind of his his natural color okay so there's other things you can play with here called cutoff cutoff is basically uh you can sort of adjust how much of it you want to fade out and stuff like that but uh yeah edge blur you can play with these ones a little bit to get more fine tuning um but yeah i think um that's pretty good for the eyebrows and let's save that so his eyelashes are pretty pretty thick it's not in this character his eyelashes are too thin So to do to adjust it to something more thick, I want to go to eyelashes, and then give them something more thick. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. So yeah, double click to bring it in, and then yeah, yeah, it looks a little bit too feminine, but um, I think. The top one looks pretty good, pretty close. You can adjust the lashes uh, further by clicking on the lashes and then going into here. And then uh, you can change the opacity. Yeah, oh, that's pretty good. All right, so next next step is to um, give him some. Uh, so we got that. Let's give him a hair. Now with hair, you're kind of limited to what you purchased, and I didn't really purchase a lot of good packs that match uh, his hair. But I think this one looks pretty good. I turn off the morph so you don't see that shit. That's not bad. Kind of looks like the guy from Dune. All right, so now let's adjust the color so it's um, more blondish. Now you want to adjust the hue so it's like that. Maybe turn up the saturation a little bit. Huh, that's pretty close. Oops, shit, now it's getting too old. All right, that's good. So now let's let's give him some um, more realistic skin. So now we want to go to content, and you want to go to this part here. Oh, actually no, let's give him some facial hair, like make him look real tough and mean. Oh, he's got a baby face in all of these pictures, but but let, I, I'm just gonna give him some facial hair just to show you what it looks like when we do give him facial hair. Um, so if you go to the hair group and you should go to Oh, not the legacy one, but this is the beard one. So these are the ones that I, I purchased called the beard. And so these are pretty cool. You can get some real gruff looking stuff here. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. See, that looks pretty cool. 
pretty natural too. Uh, yeah, matches his hair pretty well. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's just keep that one. And then the next thing you want to add is the skin. Yeah, so this is where we're going to get his skin looking really realistic. So I like to go into the skin base here. Or sorry, skin details. Yeah, it's the, they categorize it pretty... It's just kind of weird, to be honest. But the first thing I want to go to is the skin detail. Uh, click on skin details, then click on skin decal. And then click on face. Now this one... Uh, it's not bad, but uh, if you click on the further, you'll see there's more options as well. So you just pick one that you think kind of suits him. This is more of an old guy. This is more of a younger person. Let's go with something like this. Has a bit more character lines. Again, we can adjust the intensity of the normals and, and all this stuff. So so even though it looks pretty old, uh, so even though you can see sort of uh, he looks a little bit older here, we can actually adjust the normals here pretty pretty well um, if you if you scroll down or you can just use the top one up here called opacity so this is without the skin uh, layer and this is now the more you go over here obviously the older he's gonna get right so so uh, so let's just go with something a little bit lighter so if you want to keep the color and just uh, tone down the the wrinkles you can just you can set the color uh, you can set the strength up there to the opacity and you can actually adjust the normal map here this is where you can adjust the wrinkles so now, so if you like the color, you can just uh, you you can just keep keep the keep the uh, keep the opacity high, but then adjust the normal separately using these ones. Oh God. Uh, so yeah, let's just go over something a little like this. And here's the, here's the color. So this color part, you can actually bring out more more color or less color. So now this is what it looks like without the, and this is what a, with, with the color. So. I think that looks good. Uh, the next one you want to bring in is go back to skin decal, and there's one here called the lips. That one's good. Let's add that. So you want to add it. Don't replace it because if you replace it, it's going to remove the the original face decal for some reason. Um, so that one is good. And also, I like to add this one. This one gives the eye a bit more realism. That one, yeah. So yeah, it gives a. Okay, this it gives it that weird wrinkle there that I probably don't want to keep. Yeah, that, that wrinkle is kind of harsh. Makes him look quite old, isn't it? So uh, yeah, let's keep the opacity up and let's let's reduce the the wrinkles up there. Oh what? Oh, that that's part of the part of the color. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. Not too old, but not too. You know, not too weird, like not too young looking. Bit of a weathered look. Now, if you click in further, oh no, that's back here. Yeah, navigating these is so fucking terrible. Um, oh, n oh yeah, I want to, I want to adjust the lips a little bit because you'll notice that the lips don't kind of line up properly here. Um, so to adjust that, you're gonna, you can either do this, the, the scale, or you can just, or you can do it like individually using the width and the height thingy. So I think that, and then bring that down, looks perfect. Now the color is a bit too much, so you want to desaturate his his color here, go to base color, and then just tone, the, tone it down a little bit. Yeah, don't go too crazy, because it looks like he's frozen. Um, bring it down to about there, I guess. And then let's bring this up to there. And you can adjust the wrinkles like that. So let's bring it down so it doesn't look too chapped. Cool, that looks good. Um, now you notice when I'm doing these these modifiers, they they remove my hair. I don't know. That's kind of a unfortunate thing. I wish they kept it. But once you turn off the editor, it'll bring the hair back. So don't worry. But for now, we're just gonna keep adding some more skin layers so it looks more realistic. Um, so this is pretty cool. This one's kind of like a reddish kind of like hue yeah this this gives a kind of a natural red glow but you don't want to have too much of it like that now also the ordering of these also affects how the the final result looks as well so if you order them differently you'll notice that it kind of looks it, it'll it'll affect how it looks 
So yeah, keep that in mind. But uh, for the most part, I like to keep the face, this, this face one at the very bottom and then the, the smaller ones at the very top. But uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close to to what we want. Um, capillaries. But one thing I, I like to add is like freckles, but but we can adjust how, how, how many he has or how less he has. So let's add this one. So now to adjust the freckles, you click on the freckles and now you can get really cool like you can adjust the scale like let's let's keep it small let's, let's jack up the strength a little bit scale and then you want to adjust uh, the rotation uh, okay now you want to like do a random remove so like if you don't want to have less or more you can just adjust this random remove so go like that opacity variation is also pretty useful and then you can adjust the color, but yeah. So that so this gives them a little bit of character, a little bit of realism. You know, not everybody has perfect skin. All right, that's good. And then you can do stuff with mo and acne and stuff like that. But yeah, for the most part, that's pretty much uh, pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that with the looks. And then we're just gonna turn off the editor and it's gonna re-add our hair again. Yeah, and uh, we're pretty close to done. Now let's just turn on the the lighting effects so it looks more realistic. Ambient occlusion is a bit too strong. And then, yeah, I think if you, I think I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, that's pr pretty close, pretty close. I think maybe his eyes are a bit too desaturated. I can probably adjust that. But uh, for the most part, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So, I mean, you can play around with it, and you can pretty much. Uh, tweak the settings, but that's pretty much the general uh, gist, gist of it of how you go from uh, from scratch to something close to what you wanted. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that.